Hi, I'm Peter Blakey and I'm with Owen Equipment. And today I'd like to show you the Vactor 2100i model in a unique configuration we call it the catch basin. It's used for hydro excavation. You may notice up front it has no hose reel that we normally use for sewer jetting. Uh, this model has um, one big feature on it is the 10 by 15 rapid deployment boom that's unique to, to Vactor. It's a specialty boom, telescopes out 10 feet and the rubber hose can go down 15 feet. That allows you to work without having to add tubes on the truck, less uh, labor involved with that process. Next, I wanna show you the control station. The eye controls that were on your sewer truck are now on this catch basin truck as well. The one touch uh, in the cab and the one in easy touch controls out here on the outside. Water controls as well. Another piece of this information is they've done a water pump using the Vactor robust single acting piston pumps, one to one ratio. And that pump can handle the long term relationship with the you know, 10 or 15 years in the sewer industry. And it'll certainly last this long using this on as a catch basin and hydro excavation truck. So that design has been kept. Also, um, this truck is 12 yard debris body. This debris body has uh, um, the new design of the Plus came out in 2010. That allows air to flow in, get sorted out in the first part of the filtration process, and then it brings us to the cyclones and back. Come on down this way. The cyclones and back take the air and circulate it and separate it further before it goes into the fan on the other side of the truck. So this process has, Vactor is designed, like I say, about 2010, and it is still in this day the best industry, best in the industry in, in cleaning the air. The water systems on our tanks and our trucks, we want to make sure these trucks are balanced with all this weight, and we use these aluminum tanks. The aluminum tanks are designed for uh, 1,300 gallons of water. This truck happens to have 1,000 gallons of water on it, and uh, they're made at Vactor, and they're designed with a baffle everywhere there's a weld so it doesn't slosh around keeps more stable as you're moving around to your job sites um, on the back of this door here i want to show you that's a bad turn back of the door the truck has a design that has been around since 2010 with the plus and it has two cylinders and a latching mechanism in the middle that pushes pins out like a bank vault locks it tight it's a simple design it was just it put out um, to close and open easily without having to come out and have do any latches or any other configurations. One button push to open, one button push to close. Okay, come on around to this side. And we have the, <coughs> the fan system. This happens to be called a single engine fan. Uh, there's two fan blades here. The fans are um, designed to take the air that has been just cleaned in our process through the debris body, through the cyclones, and now it's headed to the fan. It hits in the center and is turned and pushed out to the top. The uh, speed of that air going through that machine is somewhere around 240 miles an hour when it's wound up all the way. So the air is moving rapidly and it gives you the speed that you need to do hydro excavation work quickly you know, without any um, delay. Other features of this truck, we have toolboxes configured the way you want. Um, when you build a truck with us, we have a tool that we use and we pick the sizes of the debris body, the chassis, so whatnot, and you're able to pick what toolboxes will fit. It's called the configurator tool. Vactor has engineered this system and they also have a Modiflex design, which is they're using a CAD to make sure your truck's not overweight and everything fits on it correctly. Last part, uh, we build on any chassis you want. This happens to be a Peterbilt 348. Um, we can build on any manufacturer's chassis, Kenworth, Western Star, Freightliner, any of the brands out there, international, they can build on it. And that's a really quick tour of a 2100i catch basin truck. This truck um, happens to be configured for this uh, Seattle City Light, and they're gonna be putting it into service.